We're about to kill it tonight. Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy here, PG. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the video. Today's video, we're going to be talking all about bands, bands and PUBG Mobile, hackers running rampant, and what we now are going to have the ability to do to take care of things ourselves, or at least help out the system, guys. First off, shout out to you for being here. If you've never been here before and you're into PUBG Mobile and all the latest and greatest information in regards to PUBG Mobile, maybe PUBG Mobile streams. And you don't have to subscribe be a boss it's real easy smack that subscribe button and uh you can hit the uh, notification bell too would help a brother out a lot but anyway let's get right into the impetus of the story while you're here guys pubg mobile has integrated a new system called video review we're going to talk about it here in the video um but i do want to say if you didn't know pubg mobile is already cracking down hard if you're not following them on their socials then you wouldn't have known from august 20th to 27th they banned over 2.2 million accounts as well as 1.4 million devices permanently suspended from accessing the game that's right thank you PUBG mobile for stepping up but now they've instituted a video review system that you and i should be able to help out with now first off you never banned someone in the game or not banned but reported somebody for cheating or suspected cheating you typically do that right after you die right uh, if you've never looked at the report or checked to see if that person's actually been banned there's a little ban pan all the way up at the top near the left hand corner of the screen go ahead and click it it's going to open up this wonderful online interactive screen then you go to the questions section and you're going to see your most recently reported people and the result of that in this case two guys that are reported they've been marked as suspicious and will be monitored going forward if they were banned it would have said that they were banned or removed from the game but guys this is what i'm talking about right here at the top you see video review station is online and what is that well let's talk about it first if we get too into the nitty-gritty basically they're going to be accepting applications for investigators who's the investigator you and me are an investigator they're going to allow us to watch videos that they're going to tag or highlight players and they're also the most important thing to know here is figures are going to be highlighted in green or allies not visible from the first person view um they, they put other visual aids to help investigate determine whether cheating has occurred uh figures highlighted in yellow are opponents not visible in the first person view and figures highlighted in red are opponents visible from the first person view so that means red people you can see yellow people are opponents or enemies that you cannot view are visible from first person view and figures in green are your friends not visible from first person view and these little visual aids are going to help you when you're watching to be able to determine where someone was tracking someone or hacking or whatever now what is the video river review right here at the bottom left hand side you actually got a little button video review you're going to want to click it let me go ahead and get it pulled back up you can see screens such as this going to have your picture your name your level review title now, if you want to apply to be a reviewer, you're going to have to click right there where it says start review right below your picture. I've already done it. So it says request sent, waiting for feedback. Now, keep it in mind, they're going to accept you based upon your reports in the past. If they've been accurate, if they've been true, if you're not just reporting people to report people. So that's why it's important to do the right thing if you are reporting people. Now, the positive to this, guys, is they will be giving out rewards based upon the amount of reviews that you do and i'll show you those rewards but i will be talking to pubg mobile if at all possible i'm going to hit them up on twitter and everywhere to see if they could you know maybe bump up the rewards if they want us to put in work and i appreciate them allow us to do so maybe they give us a little bit better rewards than what they're offering right now but right now for example the judgment time challenge complete 21 correct judgments weekly to get a reward in this case it's going to be three classic crate coupons i ain't gonna lie it's kind of neat watching hacker videos, even though I don't enjoy being on the other end of a hacker and I think hacking is wrong. I enjoy watching the videos. So I will gladly do this for three classic coupon crates. Could it be better? Sure. But at least they're giving us something for, for doing something that I may enjoy anyway. And then on top of that, guys, you got um, some other progresses as well. Like for example, a, your reviewer level, they're gonna give you BP for doing reviews. Now right now, I don't really agree with the amount of reviews required to get the level of bp but it's not so much the reward it's the the bp it's the reward of leveling up it's kind of like a a neat thing like hey what level investigator are you bro i'm a level 20 bro you know what i'm saying i'm a level 20 and then everyone's gonna be like what well, i can be like 
get on my level, bro. Yeah, but it won't. It takes a lot of reviews to get up to a level 20 per se. That's 3,200 to 3,400 video reviews that are required. You don't get a ton of BP, but it's the prestige of having that level. Anyway, let's go back. And you can also get a reviewer title and there's AG rewards that go with that. And let's see, to get the master investigator, it's going to require 2,000 correct judgments exceeded accuracy level of 70% in the past 100 cases. Now, what's that mean, guys? They All the information is right here. I'm just going to read it for you. But about the video review, players' names will be covered during the video review to ensure fairness. Videos of suspicious players' behavior will be randomly assigned to multiple reviewers. When the majority of the reviewers indicate that there is a violation, the video will be then sent off to the official security team for further review. Players whose violations are confirmed by the official security team will be banned. Reviewers with a low accuracy of spotting violations will be adjusted to have less impact on the review until their reviewer privileges are revoked. So that means, man, if you're going to want to be a reviewer, don't just click a bunch of BS. Put the time in, you know what I'm saying? Do the work. Help out PUBG Mobile. Help out your friends up in the game and try to make it a fair player playing ground for everyone that's playing the game. Okay, now this is an example that they have just to kind of give us like a, a sense of what to expect. This is not a real video, by the way. This is one that they made to kind of show. So you got a player here. What is that? M7. Teammates are dead. He's got one teammate alive. Should be right behind him. Shots off to the right hand side. It's kind of a long video for a review. You think that they cut it down because a lot of this first part is a little irrelevant. Okay, so there's a yellow enemy that you couldn't see in first person and red is that you could see in first person. I think... Ooh, he snapped on him. His teammate could have marked him though. I don't know. Mm. That's a hard one because... The moment of time in which he was viewable on the screen from a first person view. Let's let's see if let's let me see if I can speed that back up. Is this is the same video or a different video? Oh, it's a different video. Anyway, so you can see how challenging some of those reviews could be. I don't know how you guys feel about that one, but if you go back here, it would say select a, ch a cheat. It would be mm, maybe like Invisible? No, it wasn't invisible. So he was invisible at a certain point. Anyways, the point of this is that you can see how hard it would be in that particular case. I suspected it would have been a lot easier. They probably should have put an easier video to review. But that one was kind of hard, that first one that we've seen. Because um, I don't know if that guy was even... He was visible for a moment, but then the guy knew where he was. There was a second guy that he snapped to and killed real quick, which was suspect. But good players can definitely do that, especially if their teammate marked him. It didn't show that the teammate marked, but I don't know if it would show that a teammate would mark. Anyway, guys, this is the video review process. Like I said, you got to click start review right there below your picture to get accepted as a investigator in the program. And I just think it's I just think it's an amazing thing that they're going to allow us to do. And not only that, thinking about the amount of content that could be pushed out as a result of this. I mean, you're going to have access to basically possible hacking cheating videos it could be kind of like a neat little series we do where pull the videos off of here put them on youtube and then you guys let me know what you think if they were hacking we could review them together just as fun um no one likes to be on the other end of a hacker it makes the game completely unfair unrealistic and not very much fun but i do commend want to shout out poji mobile once again for stepping up their efforts and um combating the hackers and continuing to do so you know what i'm saying anyway guys i'm pg i hope this was informed of i hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure you drop a like if you're not following me up on twitter it'd be op if you're not subscribed to the channel you want to be a boss hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you get notified every time you go live typically guys monday through friday 8 p.m central 9 p.m eastern live streams youtube facebook trovo twitch and more like i said check out twitter all the information will be on there by the way i'm pg wpgn you guys are amazing. Don't forget to subscribe.
and I will uh, see you in the next one. All right. Peace, guys. Peace.